we're here today to celebrate life and mourn the death of my favorite fish in the entire world for the past about past month week and a half. <sighs> Slick Rick, aka straight out of Compton. He was the greatest fish I've ever had. At least the greatest fish I've ever had over the past five years. He was really always there for me. Whenever I needed to pick me up, you know, he was always there. And I felt like I could always rely on him. He was a strong one. He was a fighter. He survived only on tortillas. And that's really good because tortillas are pretty cheap. But the fact that he fought through adver adversity, it's just inspiring to me. And this is basically, today is a day for me to honor him. And I'm going to bury him. Over the years, I've always wanted a pet, but I never have been able to get one because allergies, which are stupid. But really, the, the allergies are nothing compared. The allergies aren't, don't mean anything because I've got a goldfish, and goldfish are hypoallergenic. So, it's really sad no one showed up because Slick Rick had so many friends. I mean, he was a pimp, so naturally he had a lot of friends. But really, after he got out of Compton, I mean... He's made a lot more friends, including me, and including some of my other friends. But they couldn't show up today, which is fine by me because I'll get some alone time with my great fish. Slick Rick was born on June 20th, or May 20th, 2013. He was really, really a fighter. I mean, there's an apocalypse, not an apocalypse, I shouldn't have said that. Excuse my language there. Not apocalypse, it was more of a holocaust for the fish at the school. They were all taken away, which is kind of terrible. But, you know, stuff like that happens. So, there's only about five or six fish that survived that. And, of course, he was there. And he's just always been there. And, as you saw in the video before this, I really loved him. And we had a great time together while he was still alive. And the fact that he lived 11 days is unprecedented for fish. Fish have always been a huge part of everyone's life, I think. Whether it's watching them or fishing for them, it's just so important. I mean, fish are so special. I mean, it's not like dogs. I mean, you, can, you kind of enjoy dogs over a long period of time, but with fish, you only get a short period of time to enjoy them, and you gotta make the most of those. So, he's been with me through all those moments. He's, he saw a rabbit. I mean, he's done everything. He's, he looked, he's seen ducks. He's lived. And I feel like he died a good death. He didn't die of the lack of drowning, undrowning, or anything. I mean, he survived an almost catastrophic fall from a bird feeder. That was that was a close one, but he got out alive, so... It was a sad day. But now we're going to commence with the burial. So, here it goes. We'll now commence with the burial of Slick Rick. For anybody to do. You never want to have to do it. You never want to. It's not right to have someone be, to bury your own fish. No.
I'll always love you, Slick.